हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम युक्ता दवे स्टूडेंट ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ लैंग्वेज टीचिंग बी एड कॉलेज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट एजुकेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी अकॉर्डिंग टू अ रिसर्च पीपल टेन टू रिमेंबर टेन परसेंट ऑफ वॉट दे रीड ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ वॉट दे हियर थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ वॉट दे सी फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ वॉट दे हियर एंड सी एंड सेवेंटी टू नाइन्टी परसेंट of what they see hear and experience the previous statement strongly neglects the traditional lecturing method in the classroom for learning to take place then what can be done to make the teaching learning process effective so we can make teaching learning process effective by educational technology so today we will going to learn about educational technology what is technology technology is the sum of techniques skills methods and processes used in the production of goods or services or in the accomplishment of objectives such as scientific investigation so now what is educational technology the national council for educational technology 1967 has defined educational technology as the development application and evaluation of systems techniques and aids to improve the process of human learning therefore educational technology means not only the hardware or machines but also all those processes which help in human learning as per geo lait Educational technology is the application of scientific knowledge and learning and the conditions of learning to improve the effectiveness and efficiency of teaching and training. Anvin has also defined educational technology as the application of modern skills and techniques to the requirements of education and training. This includes the facilitation of learning by manipulation of media and methods and the control of environment so far as this reflects on learning so an analysis of this definitions pointed out that educational technology is first application of modern skills and techniques second facilitation of learning by methods and media and third control of environment for effective learning scope of educational technology educational technology refers to the use of both physical hardware and educational theoretics it encompasses several domains including learning theory computer based training online learning and where mobile technologies are used m learning accordingly there are several discrete aspects to describing the intellectual and technical development of educational technology first is mass education there has been explosion of population and knowledge there is therefore a need to educate the masses the problem is multiplied further by having a large section of illiterate people so educational technology has a tremendous application to educate a large section of people and to impart a large amount of knowledge in a limited span of time in this regard the mass media radio newspaper and other modern technologies like computers and information technology email internet social media etc has a lot of scope the illiterate masses can also be made literate with the help of innovative methods and practices of teaching and learning second is historical information any branch of knowledge that we deal with has a historical base such information is of tremendous importance for the students to understand any branch of knowledge in its totality such incidents when occur can be recorded or documented in the form of a 
written or printed material. Such documents become the source of information for learners to learn. The main advantage of such documents is that we cannot create or repeat the history once more. However, we try hard and place it before the learners. For example, can we have the same view of the explosion of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1946 and show it to our students? This is neither feasible nor possible. Further, for example, we cannot have the same view of nuclear test conducted at Pokhran in 1998. So such records in the form of a film taken when the incident is happening are of immense value to the learners which can only be provided by educational technology. Third is costly and hazardous experiments. In many fields of science and technology there are some experiments having great implications for effective learning which are not advisable for the teacher to conduct in the classroom because of cost and health hazard involved. Such experiments, once conducted carefully in the laboratory or elsewhere, can be recorded and be used by teachers and students for effective learning. Fourth is distance education. Educational technology has a great scope in distance education and open school program. Today, there is a great need for personal training and education on regular basis for updating oneself in the field of work. In this regard, distance education programs, a relatively less formal process of education, have acquired new status. Educational technology with its innovative practice can educate the learners who cannot come to the classroom setup for their education. In this regard, programmed learning materials, modules and counselling are some innovations which can help distance learners. And the last is collection, storing and retrieval of information. There are certain cameras which provide us the facility to take same photographs of events that take place in a fraction of second, event that occurs at a far off place, those that cannot be seen by the naked eye. There are also satellites that work for us day and night to provide us information about places which are not accessible to us. Information can be collected with the help of this new technology both in audio and video form. Such information can be stored, retrieved within no time. Characteristics of Educational Technology It includes input, process and output aspects of education. It stresses upon developing methods and techniques for effective learning. It is an application of scientific knowledge to education and training. It includes organization of learning conditions for realizing the goals of education. It emphasizes designing and measuring instruments for testing learning outcomes. It facilitates learning by controlling environment, media and methods. Objectives of Educational Technology To modernize the learning methods and techniques, after systematizing them so that this many be turned effective according to the needs of the changing era for the unknown future. Desirable modifications in the behavior of the teachers and pupils by improving the teaching, learning and evaluation conditions. To make the classroom's teaching easy, clear, interesting, effective, understandable objective and scientific to help in increasing various facilities by solving the most complicated problems of human life so that the human life may carry on its progress 
continuously. So friends, I hope you may all have got this concept of educational technology clearly. Thank you.